Hi everyone, I am so sorry I'm a hot mess. As you can probably tell, I'm not feeling well. Um, so this is my 34 pregnancy blog. And I first off want to say that it seems like my vlogs are starting out with something's wrong. And I try not to be a drama queen, but um, I also want to keep it real. My pregnancy has actually been a really good pregnancy other than, you know, when you wait 11 years to become pregnant, you do everything in your power to make sure everything's going right. And when something isn't right or right to me, like mentally where I feel like something's just not right, um, I'll call my doctor um, just to make sure that um, nothing's happening. So a few things, um, I ended up in labor and delivery triage again, um, this time for major pain in my right side, get it, pain in my right side, more pain in Alan's side, um, major pain in my right side that chopped up to be little Miss Scarlet kicking me very hard and it didn't feel like kicking, it just felt like major cramping. But through via ultrasound, which I don't have any pictures of, Scarlett's head is in my, the only thing I can really say is like my pubic hair area, my pubic bone area, then her neck, and then her shoulders, and then her bum is right above my belly button, and then she curls around knees and feet are on my right side. Um, I'm carrying her low. They've been telling me I've been carrying her low this whole time. I really have never felt her up in my ribs. Um, and the main reason I went in, it was not because I was having the pain. It was because I didn't feel her for over 24 hours. And that scared me. Now, mind you, I had been dealing with some behavioral issues um, from Spencer and dealing with some things that happened with him on the bus and I wasn't really concentrating or paying attention to exactly her movements that day but it had been I felt her at 650 according to my journal and it was 7 something at night the next day and still had not felt her move like I usually do because she's always been a mover so when I went in to have the ultrasound done and labor and delivery triage stop please labor and delivery uh, triage um, she her heartbeat was good not as high as we usually see it but still high I mean it's usually above 150 or at 150 and it was between 138 and 148 but it changes daily and it changes as they get older um, she was moving. She just wasn't moving like Scarlett usually moves. And there's less room in there. And every week there's more and more less room. Um, so she's just making her bed and decorating what room she has left. And therefore, as she gets bigger, I'm having a lot and when I mean a lot, a lot of pelvic pain in my pubic area, in my hip bones that go down to my private, um, it was just pretty much based on my left side. Now it's in both sides and in front. Um, I did see my doctor the day after I was in labor and in delivery triage. That was just my regular appointment. And he... It was really wanting me to try physical therapy so tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning I start physical therapy to see if we can strength strengthen some of those tendons and muscles and I am definitely having strong round ligament pains um, there in my hips um, I'm not hurting like a lot of you ladies in the, your legs um, I hear quite a few of you saying that you're hurting in your legs I get some pain in my lower back. My main pain is in my 
crotch area. Um, so I'm not ex sure exactly what they're going to do with physical therapy, but I do start that tomorrow, and I'm really hoping that helps. Um, so I got a package yesterday, and I didn't open it until this afternoon. Why? I was not really coherent yesterday. I felt like I was just not present. Um, I'm glad that Alan was home because to take care of Spencer, or I would have had to have a family member come and get him. I just did not feel, I don't know where the day went. I don't remember anything really about the day. I remember Alan bringing the package in and anyways, it's from Shannon and bless her heart. I opened it, Shannon. I had to, you know, me, I'm like, you can't resist. Um, but she sent so signature Shannon and so beautiful. Look at this jacket. It's like a pink leopard print with a hood. It's really silky on the inside of the hood and up in the jacket. And it's got this pink silky lining with this really cute pink charm zipper. And this is, I believe Alan and I said was 18 months yeah 18 months so she is definitely going to be able to grow into this and have a jacket for later on and Shannon this screams you so every time I know she's wearing it I was like Auntie Shannon gave that to you and then she got us another one of these we had bought Scarlet one and we were trying to find another one and we couldn't find any but these are like kind of like snow suit sleepers they zip down each side. These feet are a little different, which I love because you can pull the inside of the feet out and take their socks off or change their socks or put soft mitten shoes on under there or um, pull down their legs, leggings that they have under there, which these are really great. And then this one's got a hood and I think it's fleece, but this is size 12 months. So she'll be 12 months next April, which still it's kind of cold in April, but I have a feeling that I'm going to still use it in December, January, February, even though she won't be 12 months because she'll have clothes on under this. So this will just be extra padding for her and it's pink. Thank you, Shannon. They're beautiful. And then my sister got this for Scarlett. I believe this is... 3T. She bought it because it was on clearance and she couldn't resist. But it's a shiny pink jacket that has butterflies and little diamonds. And this white furry collar and this really fuzzy, fuzzy material inside. And the whole inside, I think, is lined like that. Yeah. But it's 3T, and so Shannon and my sister have set her up for jackets. But it's shiny all the way around. So she can get a good picture of the butterflies. There we go. And then my brother-in-law Rick is in Iraq. And this kind of looks boyish, but it's so him. Him and my sister got him this, I believe this is the sergeant badge. And it's green, white pinstripe. The support her troops so yeah and then I'm making why I'm resting 4th of July red white and blue afghan and um, real quick I wanted to show you guys this is Alan and his mother when he was a baby before she passed away she's deceased and this is Alan And this is Alan when he was a baby and this is me when I was a baby and this is my mom and I on my wedding day so both Alan and my mom have reddish brownish hair what do you guys think will the baby or will it be blondes like us hi